Yo, well, what's going on, 67 Love Squad? Today we're doing a ranked one. When I'm playing Hades, just gonna gonna get back in the swig of things here, just enjoying myself. You know, Bruno Mars. I didn't know he played Smite. Wow. I should message him my favorite songs. Um, should I or shan't I go book first item? Probably not, right? And also, I probably shouldn't go. I probably shouldn't go Bancrofts either, should I? I mean, I it's good, I guess. The problem is Bancrofts is like you already have good healing as Hades, so going Bancrofts just makes it feel a little worse because you're like, well, I had good healing, and now now it's kind of messed up. I think this is a good matchup though, because if I remember correctly, when he uses his one, uh, Mammon's one can just be channeled a bunch of times and then like canceled. Uh, if you fear them, if you fear a Mammon or CC a Mammon in any any regard, but in this specific case, it'd be a fear. During the one, like while they're spitting the one out, I'm pretty sure that it cancels the the ability to the point where you can't even recast it. I think. By the way, he's not doing the bomb. Okay, he's, he's just here. Yeah, so he shouldn't have his one now. Yeah, I think because I feared him there, he lost the ability to use his one. I'm just going to get the minis. Don't really care about the big buff, obviously. And I did get a mana pot because I was going to invade, and if he want to invite it, then obviously i don't care right i didn't fear out of the one that time so uh i'm i'm like a-okay with this i think well i don't know if i fucked that up uh, maybe i'm still okay with this actually you're gonna take in a lot of damage my friend oh i missed hold on Oh, there's med. There's med. I don't have enough mana to use my 1 3. Well, I'm actually glad that he hit me. Yeah, I'm glad he hit me with the 1. I don't know why he did that. Because if he didn't hit me with the 1, then archers would not aggro him. And then he could have killed me. Or at the very least, he could have just cleared the wave and gotten pressure on a buff. But because. He hit me, Archer's aggroed to him, and he just kind of owned himself. Which I will take. I'm going to do blue buff, by the way. I know he's probably going to, like, respawn and run right to red because he assumes I'm going to do it or something like that. But I think blue buff is just infinitely more valuable for me in this situation. If he's smart, he'll know that I'm doing blue buff, and then he'll innovate the blue. But he just went for the wave. I mean, dude, doing double buff is not, like, a misplay by any means either. You know what I mean? It's not like a dumb play to do that, but it is a objectively worse play for XP overall. I don't really mind you doing damage to me. All right. I mean, he just dashed out, right? So I could just alt him. I guess he has CC me alt, doesn't he? But it's not, it's not a long enough charge up to get out of that one. Not a long enough CC immunity to get out of that one. I think if I, as long as I'm on top of him, his alt is not CC immune long enough to, to walk out of my ult. So, which means he has to save his dash for my ult. If he doesn't, at least the way I'm playing, right? Like I'm playing consciously to both cancel his one and catch him in my alt. If I keep playing consciously and he just, you know, gives up the the kind of conscious play, he'll just lose the game. All right, well, that was everything he had, including his horrific. Um, I am okay here. I have I have shell up in a couple seconds. You have literally no mana. Okay. 
I got my I got my three stopped twice. That is super unfortunate for me. Holy crap. I realistically should have been able to kill him. Or at the very least just not die, but the fact that I got my three stopped after cast on the one. Like him detonating the one. My three stopped after his cast. And then it I also died after my cast went off and I didn't get the heal either time from the blight exploding on him. Both times. That's like that's really tragic. That's not really something you can predict, so. He's gonna keep poking. That's all that Mammon does. He pokes a lot. Okay, he should be dead here, I think. Yep. yep. Yeah, I mean, I don't know why he he would do that. He should. He knows for sure that him dashing in on me is what's killing him. Because I have three kills. Well, okay. The first kill was not because he dashed it on me, but two of my three kills are a direct result of him dashing in on me and then the ultimate. That's the way, I don't know where Chesterfields are. I haven't gotten them this game. Hello. Don't hit me, please. Nice, I juked it. Got it. You're out of mana. You are out of mana, my good friend. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Big kill. And now we get red buff. I mean, I could do some tower damage. I just don't think tower damage really matters that much right now. I think the main thing... Why do I have a point? Why do I have two points in my one here? I must have misclicked my two on accident once. But uh, I think the main thing to look out for right now is just farming. You don't have... Yeah, okay. I was going to say, you don't have your blue up, do you? Uh, I want him to dash me. I kind of want him to like all in me here. Yeah, he thinks he can fight because my one is down. Perfect. And now you're dead. Nice. I wonder if going blink here would be better as the second relic. Just because if I go blink for my second relic, then I could very, very easily... I could get on top of him, force his dash, and then I could just alt for the kill. Obviously, at level 12, he can get beads, so it's not like this plan is going to work for the entirety of the game, but it's going to work for the majority of the game, at the very least. Got it. I don't think I can die here with Pestilence. I am too darn tanky. Bro, look at his mana. Look how tough. Like, that build on Mammon is really good for, like, bursting. But it's really bad for everything else. Unfortunately. I guess he does have meds. Alright, fair play. I still can't die to him, though. I, I would have to, like, severely misplay to die to him here. Severely misplay. I'm going to immediately run out of base here because I want my my blue buff. Oh, he should be dead. He's got no mana. Perfect. Um, I could actually do his blue buff. 
135, 135 mana. I'll get the regen enough for my for my three in a second here. Actually, I can just auto it down because I have the I have the Chester. Not the Chester. What am I saying? The Scepter. Alright, now let's go. Actually, I'm not gonna go a glyph here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into another defense item. I'm gonna go void Dumaru. Dumaru? Dumaru? Dumaru. It's gonna reduce their magical protections by 10%, so it gives me 10% pen. And it's also gonna give me uh CCR reduction, which means I'm not gonna get stunned as much. Or I'm gonna get stunned just as much, but for 20% shorter duration. And I'm also going to be having a lot of uh, damage I can do here. Just because I have the 10% pen and I also have the extra defense and the HP and stuff. Like, I have no ult this fight. And he's he's pulling out all the stops and I'm still going to win the fight. I can't kill him, but it's fine. I basically lost no HP during that fight. And we got his his relics, both of his relics, and his alt. Well, he's level 12. I wonder if he's going to pick up those beads now. Probably should. Should go uh, fully upgrade this void, though. Big jump up. He's divine, so he's still no percent pen right here. Going divine here, it's not bad. Because, like, I, I'm Hades. I have so much healing, you know? But, I don't know. It, it's a little bit bad, to be honest with you. So, more percent pen. Honestly, Warlocks isn't bad here. The HP is going to help a lot. It's going to give me 500 HP. He can't go percentage health item other than, like, Soul Reaver. Like, he can go Kins. Like... Or he can't go kins. If he could go kins, is what I was going to say. If he could go kins, obviously it'd be a bad play because I already have so much HP. But because he can't go kins because he's a magical god, it's just like... The only percent HP item he can go... I guess there's two, technically. He could go ethereal staff and he could go soul reaver. I'm not scared of either of those because he doesn't have any pen. And I'm double defense right now. Not to mention the defense that I get while all, you know. Oh, I guess he was checking bull demon. Let's see if I'm there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that there's no universe where he even comes close to winning a fight against me right now. I would have to misplay astonishingly hard. Hello. You don't mind if I just take this blue box, do you? Um, I actually kind of considered halting him there, even under his power. I mean, we'll just get his dash. I think we could kill him. Perfect. Perfect. The only way that that play could have gone wrong. I mean, obviously what I should have done is I should not have ulted inside his Phoenix range. I took eight Phoenix shots during that fight. And I'm pretty sure at least six or seven of them were during my ult, which means that I'm a, a lot more tanky during it. So it's not that bad, but you know, realistically I should have avoided ulting inside the, the Phoenix range. And then uh, because I did ult inside the Phoenix range, I could have potentially lost that fight. If instead of using his beads, when I dove him under Phoenix there, if he used um, his ult, this is all not only would have made him CC immune, it also would have knocked me up and it probably would have canceled my three. Which as you saw earlier, uh, the one time that I did die this game was pretty upsetting. 
I only died because I got my three canceled twice. By the way, um, there's some updates I gotta, I gotta tell you guys on. So the last video I uploaded, I believe was Thursday. I know today's going to be Wednesday, but the last video I uploaded was on Thursday. And I said in that video that she was going to have leg surgery and she did have leg surgery. Everything went well. She is recovering slash like she's kind of recovered already, but you know, I don't want to say too early. Okay. My ult is hundred to zero him. I guess that wasn't really my ult that killed him, huh? It was it was probably a combination of it was my ult plus scepter plus fire minions, because my ult plus scepter only did 858 and he's got like 2000 health. So yeah. But anyways, a couple things I need to tell you guys about. Um thumbs up in the video or someone go in the comments, please, and be like, hey, can you watch till the end? Because Sam's talking. Or, you know, I would appreciate that. Um, so Shiv's leg surgery, it went well we she's like on the mend you know she's pretty good no you know no negatives at all about the surgery her recovery is going fantastic no pt required um and she's doing good thumbs up if you want to donate for the surgery cost because i do live in america and i have bad health care because i'm self-employed i'll put a donation link in the description somewhere uh don't feel obligated to do so whatever Number two, uh, the second thing I want to tell you guys is I am going to play competitive games in Smite 2. I have a team that I've been practicing with. We've lost a lot, <laughs> but no, we're a brand new team. None of us have played competitive before. So, uh, you know, that's the thing. And because, because of us going competitive, I have a little screenshot to show you guys. I... So if you don't know, Smite 2 has a competitive scene. There's a Vegas tournament going on right now. And everyone is trying to get into the Vegas tournament. And in order to get into the, the, the Vegas tournament, stage one just concluded. And there was 64 different teams, 64 teams uh, in stage one. There might have been even more, to be honest with you. But from what I could tell, there was only about 64 separate teams maybe like a hundred at most. And if you got into the top 16 of those teams, then you got to go to the winner's stage for stage two. Um, and the top 16 teams all fight each other in like a round robin kind of style uh, to move forward to stage three, or if you're in top eight, stage four. So in stage one, where there was, a, like I said, there was about like 64 to hundred teams. We actually did end up qualifying. We won enough games to end up qualifying uh, into the top 16 winners bracket for stage two. So we will be in the winners bracket for, for stage two. If you want to watch that tournament, it's going to be on my Twitch stream. My Smite 2 content will be on, on my Smite 2 content will still be on my Twitch stream. You know, I'll still be doing scrims. I'll still be doing the tournament stuff will be on there. Um, you know, the, Arguably, I'm with a bunch of pro players already in the, the winner's bracket of stage two. So it's going pretty good so far. Um, and yeah, and then uh, the last thing I want to say is I will be doing Smite 1 dual content on this YouTube channel. There might be the occasional, uh, you know, Smite 2 video. But for the most part, the majority of everything on this YouTube channel will be Smite 1 Duel content still. I'm very excited for Smite 2 Duel. Uh, I have no idea when it's going to come out. I was told in October, like early October patch. But if it's not there, then, you know, so be it. We just got to wait. We got to be patient. You know, I, they're probably making a whole new map. I mean, it's a whole new game, right? So they are making a whole new map. They're going to make like a bunch of different gods that they're still putting in. They're doing a bunch of work on Smite 2, so... Whenever Smite 2 Duel comes out, I will be switching to that. But until, like for the foreseeable future, you can expect Smite 1 Duel on this channel until Smite 2 Duel comes out. And yeah, that's all I want to talk about. Thumbs up, please, in the comments. If you guys uh, listen to the rant, please 
comment down below what you think about my my little rant and what i said and all those things thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate you guys and until next time peace